one of the ancient civilizations in the world. Yes, Indus Valley civilization, it has achieved multifaceted socio-economic progress during the last five decades. That means during last 50 years, it shows the progress in all the aspects of the country such as literacy level, GDP, life expectancy, that is overall country's development. It has moved forward displaying remarkable progress in the field of agriculture, industry, technology and overall economic development. India has also contributed significantly to the making of the world history. Next subtopic is location. India is a vast country lying entirely in the northern hemisphere. Okay. The main land extends between latitudes 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degree 6 minutes north and longitudes 68 degree 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes east. Here you can see this India is the largest country that means seventh largest country in the world. Here it's located in the location of India is northern hemisphere and the landmass of India has an area of 3.28 million square kilometers that means it accounts for about 2.4 percent of the total geographical area of the world total geographical area of the world. Here they are given the graph diagram. Okay. That means bar diagram. It shows the seven largest countries of the world. Russia, Canada, USA, China, Brazil, Australia. And here is the seventh place. It's India. It's India. We will learn rest of the location and size with that help of if we learn with the help of the map, the rest of that uh, size and location, it is easy to understand. Here, the mainland extends between latitudes. That is here, uh, you can see that latitude here, India's latitude extends. Okay, so here that sa southernmost point is 8 degree 4 minutes north. And northernmost point is 37 degrees 6 minutes north. Then longitudes of India extent is here. This one is westernmost point is 68 degrees 7 minutes east. And, and here easternmost point is 97 degree 25 minutes east. Then the Tropic of Cancer. Here it is the Tropic of Cancer. That is 23 degree 30 minutes north divides the country into almost two equal parts to the to the southeast southeast Andaman and Nicobar Islands, which lies in Bay of Bengal, and southwest Lakshadweep Islands, which lies in Arabian Sea. So we already learned India is the seventh largest country of the world. India has that landmass here in that here is that landmass that total boundary of the total length of the boundary of landmass of India is 15,200 kilometers much 15,200 kilometers the coastline of the mainland and also includes Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep Totally, it is 7,516.6 kilometers. India is bounded by the Yangfall Mountains. Here is bounded with the Yangfall Mountains in the northwest, north and northeast. Here you can see this uh, southern part of India exactly in the 22 degree, 22 sorry 22 degree uh, in in their north latitude 
it begins to taper see here how it is taper here that means taper means it's thin that means reducing the size or decreasing the size otherwise diminish okay uh, towards that uh, up to that extent of the indian ocean down okay so towards the indian ocean it divides into two seas two seas one is arabian sea another one is bay of bengal then next one is here you can see that uh, length that means total length of the kanya that means kashmir to kanyakumari and then gujarat to arunachal pradesh see that gujarat to arunachal pradesh is smaller than the uh, north south extent that is the distance between jammu and kashmir and kanyakumari here uh, from gujarat to arunachal pradesh the distance is 2933 kilometers and then jammu and kashmir to kanyakumari is 3214 kilometers from gujarat from gujarat to arunachal pradesh there is a time lag of 2 hours how many hours 2 hours yens time along the standard meridian this is standard meridian in india 82 degree 30 minutes is passing through mirzapur this area is mirzapur here only mirzapur is located in that uttar pradesh taken to the standard time for the whole country the latitudinal extent influences the duration of the day and night as one moves from south to north because we already learned in that younger classes the globes the uh, globe structure is that curvature so due to that the sunlight directly uh, directly falls on the equator than that other parts so southern part is very i mean near to that equator so it receives high level of sunlight so here day is long and night is short day is long and night is short but in jammu and kashmir is day is short and night is long so that's one they given here is once you move from that uh, south to north you will uh, get that uh, duration that is uh, difference of the duration of the day and night then next top the next one is india and the world the indian landmass as a central location here you can see that in asia central location between the east and the west asia india is a southward extension of the asian continent in the, the the trans indian ocean routes that means transport of that through that indian uh, ocean routes which connect the countries of europe in the west and the countries of the countries of east asia provide a strategic central location of india note that the deccan peninsula protrudes into the indian ocean thus helping india to establish close contact with west asia here you can see that close contact with that west asia here here is one is africa and euro its close contact through that western coastal areas west coast then through the east coast it's made contact especially the trade route which connects to the southeast and eastern asia of this total area location so no other country has a long coastline on that indian ocean this is indian ocean so india only holds that almost you know that 7516.6 kilometers total coastline of india this is the longest coastline of that indian ocean it holds by india has an indeed it is india's eminent position in the indian ocean which justifies the naming of an ocean after it so india's contacts with that world have continued through ages but her relationships through the land routes are much older 
than the maritime contacts. Yes, land routes are very oldest one. The various passes across the mountains in the north have provided passages to the ancient travelers. While the oceans restricted such instruction for a long time, you already learned about this in the previous class 8 standard. These routes have contributed in the exchange of ideas and commodities since ancient times. From the ancient times, through this route, they exchanged the ideas and commodities. Commodities means products, things. The ideas of Upanishads and the Ramayana, the stories of Panchatantra, the Indian numerals and the decimal system thus could reach many parts of the world. Next, amenities, the spices, we know that, you know that pepper is the important spice, okay, spices, muslin, it's a type of cloth and other erkandise, other things means like cotton, silk, etc. were taken from India to different countries. On the other hand, the influence of Greek sculpture, these two things too, that means these ideas and commodities exported, that means transited from India to other parts of the country. From the other parts of the country, what we influenced into India means Greek sculpture and the architectural styles of doom. You know that in Mask and Taj Mahal, you can see that one is doom structure on the roof of the building and minarets, minars from West Asia can be seen in different parts of our country. Next subtopic is India's neighbors. India occupies an important strategic position in South Asia. India has 29 states. Sorry, please change this as per new uh, updated one. 28 states. Here they given 7 union territories, non-7 union territories, 9 union territories. Because Jammu and Kashmir is uh, not state as per now, so it reduced 1 state here, so 28 states. Then it turned as a 2 union territories, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, so 9 union territories. Now, in this map, through this map, we learn that India's neighbors, India's neighboring countries, okay? Now, India shares its land boundaries with Pakistan and Afghanistan in the northwest, China, Tibet, Nepal, Bhutan in the north, next Myanmar and Bangladesh in the east, our southern neighbors across the sea consist of Two island countries, namely Sri Lanka and Maldives. Maldives, which is located south of the Lakshwadweep region. Here, Sri Lanka is separated from India by a narrow channel. That one is known as Park Strait. That one is known as Park Strait. That one is known as Park Strait. And the Gulf of Manar, this one is Gulf region. This one is Gulf of Manar. Okay, Gulf of Manar. Um, India has had strong geographical and historical links with her neighbors. So this is your ninth standard full lesson. The lesson is over. Thank you. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.